Hey guys, my name is Christina and on this channel you will find videos about how to make money online and travel and reaching your full potential. Okay, so today I'm gonna to help you figure out what to teach on OutSchool. Before we jump into things, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I have coming out. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is think about the answers to these questions. So first, what are you passionate about? Now, if you can't come up with an answer to this or you have no idea, don't worry, the next question I want you to think about is what are your hobbies or your interests? What are the extracurricular activities you like to do? So, do you enjoy cooking? Do you enjoy a running club? Do you enjoy acting? And if your answer is, I have no time for extracurricular activities, what are you talking about? I have children, uh, my job takes up too much of my time, then I want you to think about when you did have time, about any time in your life, maybe when you were in high school or you were in college or maybe even when you were a kid, what are the things that you liked to do? Or if you're thinking about college, think about what are the electives you like to take for fun? What are the classes you like to take for fun? What was your major in college? Okay, now I want you to answer the question, what is your area of expertise? So if you're drawing a blank on this one, a good rule of thumb is to think about what do people come to you for advice on? Are people looking to you or asking you questions about how to do their makeup or fashion or anything like that? So whatever people come to you for advice on is usually something or usually indicates that you are an expert in that topic or you have an interest in that topic or you're knowledgeable about that subject. And last but not least, if you're having any trouble with any of these questions, I would say call up your best friends and ask them what do they think your strengths are. Sometimes it's really, really easy for our friends or our family to tell us what our strengths are. Okay, so once you answer that set of questions, the second thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go over this list of parent requested topics. So don't worry, I'm gonna link it below so that you guys can pull this document up and you'll know exactly where to find it. But basically, I want you to review all of these topics. When you're reviewing it, something should click, something should stand out to you. Okay, so after you scroll through this document, I want you to choose five topics that stand out to you. So these are five topics that you think you would feel comfortable teaching on. And I want you to order them. So tell me, on which topic do you feel most comfortable teaching on? Which topic do you feel least comfortable teaching on out of the five? So you're gonna order them. So I want you to remember when you are choosing a topic to teach on for OutSchool, OutSchool really wants you to teach a topic that one, you're passionate about, and two, they want you to teach a topic that you have expertise in. So you basically have to have some sort of background, some sort of experience about that topic. Another piece of advice when you are creating a lesson and you're applying to OutSchool is try to focus on one niche. So if you um, are bilingual and you speak a second language, maybe that second language is Spanish, all right? Um, and maybe you have a lot of other ideas of things you wanna teach. Try to focus on one niche when you're applying um, to out school, when you're trying to figure out what you wanna teach on. I think it's a lot easier to focus on that one niche, talk about all the experiences uh, that align with that niche, that basically make you qualified to teach about that niche. All right? And I think that's gonna be a lot easier when you're going through the process to try to get approved and when you're creating a class. And then once you create your first class and your second class, you get all this experience, then it's gonna be easier for you to branch out. All right? Okay, so now that you guys know what you wanna teach, now that you guys have chosen the topic that you wanna focus on, I am gonna help walk you through how to create a lesson on out school. So, if you wanna create a lesson, I actually have another video about that, and I will link that video below um, so that you guys can check that out. It's really gonna walk you through step-by-step step, um, what you need to do to create that lesson, so be sure to check that out. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Remember, if you do not have a referring teacher or a teacher to mentor you through the process, remember, all you have to do is send me an email, use my referral link, I'm gonna leave it below for you, and I can help you through the process. So if you send me an email, I'll send you a ton of resources to help walk you through the process and get you started as an out-school teacher.